Hello there and welcome to the next tutorial of Power BI and in this tutorial as you can see we will going to discuss the import CSV data inside Power BI. So let's look at the CSV data which is a comma separated value files generally extracted from any of the online website or your system that is producing. The benefit is that uh, it is uh, pretty low formatted file or file which is uh, having the comma as a separated value and sometimes you need to do a little bit of work to format it or sometimes you know the information is just very clearly present uh, separated by comma or any other delimiter which Power BI sometimes automatically detects if not we can provide the delimiter as well. So let's see how we can get this comma separated value file inside Power BI and then we can use it for any visualization purpose later on. All right, so let's move on to Power BI. All right, so here we are within the Power BI software and the option is under get data. So we will click on the get data, click on the text CSV. And over here, if you see, there are like a lot of CSV files, which I have used previously in my tutorials when I was explaining about Tableau or Click. Um, so what we will going to do is simply get uh, any data set. So for example, we have a Boston housing data set, which we use for machine learning and all. So we we'll just click on this and click open. Once we click open, then uh, Power BI in the backend will start doing some processing and will show us this window. And it will going to detect some information as to the, uh, the encoding of the file, which is 1252 Western European Windows format. Uh, what is the delimiter, which is uh, comma, or if there is any other uh, delimiter that we can select. Suppose if information is not corrected or not uh, properly displayed here, and uh, you are aware as a subject matter expert that what delimiter is present, for example, as tab or space or colon, then you can choose this and your information will be displayed properly, like in this case, because comma is present and it has correctly identified comma is the separator. Then you have the option of custom where you can specify your own custom delimiter. Also the fixed width option, if you remember from the Microsoft Excel, there is a fixed width based on which data is present, then we can even do that. So for now comma is present, so we will leave it to the comma as the delimiter or a default delimiter. Then it has detected the data type. Mostly everything is the number. But if you observe this CHES, since it has NA, it is left aligned and generally values which is left aligned is a text value. And all those values which are right aligned and italics, these are uh, numbers within the uh, Power BI or in other system as well, the same format follows. So whenever in interview, somebody is asking you as to if the value is uh, left aligned or right aligned, then what format it follows. So now you should know that what format should follow. So this one, if you see even this one, uh, ZN and uh, even the L stat, okay? All of these follows a particular type of format, which is text. In this case, however, the value is present numerical, but in some cases like here, you have an A, which is not available. That means value is missing over here. And because NA is present, that's why it has detected or Power BI engine has detected that this is a text value. So it gives preference over there and uh, changes the format of all the values to the, uh, to the text value rather than the numeric value. So we can always do a transformation of the data, but for now we will just simply accept what is coming over here and click on load. Once we click on load, it does again some uh, processing and your information for your uh, data points will come over here, where if you see sigma basically indicate or this summation sign indicates that uh, it is a numeric value. If it is not present, then it is a text value. For date value, you will going to see a small calendar is coming whenever we will going to import the date specific uh, field from the data set. Also, there are a couple of features. For example, if you see these uh, options, more options button, which is coming, which is nothing but three ellipses. So if I just click it over here, it shows 
uh, if you want to create a new measure, new column, you want to rename this, you want to delete this or hide this. So these are the various options which is present and little bit different option will be present for text values as uh, this is not aggregable. So almost like 70 to 80% same, but maybe two, three option which is different, which you can set it for the uh, for these text specific field. However, if you see uh, from the import table or the import window, all of this is a numerical information. And we will see in the upcoming videos as to how to remove those missing values and then how to make sure that all the value which are which we are uh, bringing in is the um, is the correct values or is in the format which we need. So that's about how you can import, analyze and finally load the data within Power BI for the purpose of data visualization. And in the next topic, we will going to look at how you can import the Excel data, which is similar to CSV data, but Excel is like more formatted, more, uh, you know, things which is done in the Excel sheet generally used uh, traditionally with the reporting system and all. So we will see how Excel specific data can be, uh, we can get inside into the Power BI. So stay tuned for that.